for us to be here uh, at this point, this juncture, uh, a year down the line, is um, surprising uh, and uh, invigorating. Uh, we would never have anticipated uh, being anywhere like this right now uh, if it wasn't for the fact that, that Dale uh, and Ecotricity grabbed it, the bull by the horns, and brought Paul on board. Uh, and I, it, it's, uh, it, it's taken us by surprise, but it's a wonderful thing. In the classroom it's often much more forced I always feel and actually you bring them outside and there's just something in them they relax and I think it's really important that they get to know the environment that they're in and they get to really not just know it by sight but know it by touch know it by smell that's really important for young children well yeah so this uh, it sort of ties in with with geography immediately but also I suppose biology but, but particularly our science when we're looking at materials this term but the start of it is the children, we gave them the task of doing an audit of all the living things that are out here on the school grounds, all the plants, all the trees that are out here, really to try and measure how much, how biodiverse our school grounds are. And we've been working on it, it's been very purposeful this week. So we do some of our outdoor learning with the other subjects in mind, and sometimes our outdoor learning is just pure, yeah. pure outdoor learning, um, where we use nature you know, to learn about the world around us, basically. So for the past three weeks, Year 3-4 have been using Rob McFarlane's Lost Spells and Lost Words, and they've been looking at all the endangered species that we have living in our country, and they've been creating their own spells to bring these species back to life. Like I said, you know, bearing with the first time they've done it, seven to nine-year-olds, they've actually blown us away with the language that they've come up with, and also, yeah. like, the sensitivity of it all. Some of them have got really choked up listening yeah, to some of the spells. So there's a lot of emotion behind it as well. Yeah, yeah. Our focus is, it's all about well-being, it's, yeah. about, it's about resilience. Because I'm always the great believer that you can teach anything outside and we should be outside. Building them from the inside out. You know, you've got to get in touch with nature and that's why, you know, there's nothing better. And you can see these children thriving. They always thrive outdoors. As I said, I had not anticipated this. <laughs>